Hello and welcome to the main game finale of my playthrough of Pokemon Red. And in this episode, I will be taking on the Elite Four in the Indico Plateau. And then, uh, I don't want to reveal what happens after that. Because I, I mean, I doubt it at this point. But nobody, or anybody can put in this, won't know what happens at the end of Pokemon games. But I won't spoil it just in case. Um, See, so yeah, I'll be doing the final, I guess, battles, you could say, in the game. So, further ado, let's get into it. So, I did just grinding to get a few levels up for each Pokemon. So, Charizard, 61. <coughs> Leveled him up to 60 from 59. Rare candied him. Pidgeot, 42 to 43. Rare candy, 45. Rare candied again. Because I said that the first eight level ups across the six Pokemon were going to get rare candied. Articuno didn't go up. Because I didn't really use Articuno. Um, just got the shared experience, but I have put the XP share away now. Um, but yeah, everybody's on at least 46. So I prefer to do. You know, not, not yet, but yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got 20 revives. Ultra Balls for post-game. Four max revives. X accuracies, Alexa, Ether, four restores, max potions, and then loads of X items in case I need to use them. So without further ado, now it's time to get into it. <clears throat> From here on, you face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Is it Lorelei first? I think it is, right? Welcome to Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha <laughs> ha are you ready? So Jolteon will be good for all of the water ice types, however I think you do see a Jinx, so I'm going to have to just use Charizard for this one. So yeah, it's not going to be defeat one Pokemon, <coughs> swap immediately, if one Pokemon can take out multiple at once, that's what's going to go on. So Fire Blast, because it is a water ice type at the end of the day. There we go. Burn the Bastard, reduce its special attack, Aurora Beam going to be neutral. No, it's not. Of course, ice type moves shouldn't be good, but because Charizard's a flying type, um, it kind of takes some of the sting off. And then there we go. Bish bash bosh. Two K. Cloister. Right now we change to a Jolteon. It's all about the levels, really. Um, One X speed should do it. Royal beam shit then fuck. Right then, Thunderbolt. No, don't want to change Pokemon. I have to whip out a thunder for this one. Yes, there we go. It's all about the setups. Do, do, do. Right, I'll change. Put the jinx. That kind of fucks up the last Pokemon for me to destroy, then I can't help that. Anyway, flame throw it. Of course, Charizard isn't actually that many levels above um, because of the way I've done it, so it's going to be more challenging, more fun. Right, Lapras to end it. Do, do. We might as well again use Jolteon. It's already been uh, used quite a bit, so level 56 Lapras is actually really fucking dangerous. Um, and I don't think the X speed was needed, but. Hey ho. <sighs> That's big, missing the hydro pump. It w I mean, it would have been neutral, but it probably would have defeated Jolteon, just because it's it's that powerful. Um, so that's a big miss. And there we go. A level up, just like that. How dare you. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. Right, so let's have a look. Um, no need to heal anybody up yet. Um, <clears throat> that's one down. Is it Bruno now? Yep, 
So he's the fighting type one. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with my Pokemon, Phantom. We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! So I don't think I've seen a, um... Probably Raph yet. You do get one in this fight. First at Bleeding Onyx. I thought the Fire Blast was going to miss. Because it has a knack for missing, but there we go. I don't think Pidgeot's really going to get much of a time to shine in this. So let's put Pidgeot in now. Hitmonchan. Now Hitmonchan just has the worst special stat ever. It's just, ugh. It's rubbish. That's going to take three, isn't it? Shit, wow, well, fuck, I forgot you know all the punches. You know, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, all that shit. Why are you critting for? Do, 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 do. Go on, crit. That'll do. <clears throat> Hitmon Lee. I don't think Hitmon Lee, unless it can learn like Thunder Kick, Fire Kick, Ice Kick, is not the same as Hitmon Chan. Um, it's also slower anyway. Um, no Jump Kick, which, you know. Really detrimental anyway. Find out that could defeat me. Shit. Do, do. Do you know what? Let's get some extra experience for Jolteon. Why not? Do. Do. Onyx. <clears throat> well then. Looks like you're dead, mate. <clears throat> Ice beam, good night. Four times damage. Not surviving that. Right, here's a Machamp. Do you know what? Again, there's no need. I can literally fly with Articuno. Because it's the first Machamp we've seen, anyway. Focus Energy is the worst move you could use in that sitch. Why do you know Fisher? That's a one-hit KO move. Shit. That's not good. Oh, fuck me. Let's not miss, please. There we go. That's what we needed. So Articuno will be nearly at 51 now. Anyway, there we go. Why? How could I lose? My job is done. Go face your next challenge. So is it Agatha next? Or is she fourth? Oh yeah, it is. Of course, it is Agatha next. Because I know who the last one is. Um, and is this Psychic or Ghost? This is Ghost and Psychic, right, I think. It's probably the hardest fight out of the Elite Four section. Let's go. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. Phantom, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. Yeah, but through studying Pokemon, you could enhance them, or at least, you know, learn more about them, which could in turn advance the fighting, mate. Anyway, this fucking beast. If you don't like, if you're a Pokemon fan, you don't like Gengar, get out. That's what I'm saying. You bastard, don't miss Gengar. Twat. You missed, well done. Time to slash you. Of course it's a critical hit, it is slash after all. 
Right, Gengar, right. Fuck me. Um, Nido King. Going to earthquake the fuck out of you. But I think that's why she withdraws him. How much damage? How much? Ugh, that's fine. That's fine. That is honestly fine. I think the next fight though is going to be a Nido King Articuno sweep because I'm going to be icing everything because it is the Dragon Gym. So you're going to see Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite all in one go. Let's go. Do 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 do. I mean, if 56 Gengar goes to an earthquake, a 55 Haunter should, unless it's got some strange stats somehow. But there we go. If Nido King's faster than Gravelus, it's best to do that. Do, 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 do. Right now, let Graveler go. Do, 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 do. Do. See, I can't get Gollum unless I. Um... That's foolish. Oh shit, I forgot it was level 60, though. Eh? See, I can't get Gollum unless I trade it. Trade the Graveler. Like, you trade it to a friend and it comes back as. Well, he gives them a golem, but of course you can get it traded back to you. Um... I mean, if a 60 Gengar goes, a 58 Arbok should go. There we go. Earthquake's too good. It's way too good. I mean, I know it's super effective, but, you know, there was 12 level difference there. Oh, you're something special, kid. Child, sorry. It's a kid. There we go. You win. I see what that old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. So the final member of the Elite Four, Lance. Here we go, the final battle. They build it up well. Well, I think it's time for a Articuno sweep. Because Lance, as I said, has dragon types. <clears throat> ah, I heard about you, Phantom. I led the Elite Four. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon? They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Phantom. Bum, 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 oh fuck, that's not good. If I knew that, I'd have put Jolty on him. Fuck! How much fucking shit? No, we can't be having that one. No, thank you. Ow. Okay. Jolteon goes in then. Of course, Gyarados isn't technically a dragon. It's water flying, but it should be a dragon. But I guess they had to get the Gyarados in the game somehow. And here we go. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Boom, 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 just depends on the type of the others anyway, Ice Beam. I could use Blizzard, but it's gonna fucking miss, so I don't see the point. Night, night. There we go. Where's Dratini at? Need to get a Dratini. And of course, you can very easily miss. Dragon types, but that's just the way it is. Here comes the fucking beast. 
Anyway, it is four times weak to ice. Of course, two times with the flying and an extra two times with the rock. You may be a beast, but Articuno has got you in its back pocket. Here comes a fucking beast, known as Dragonite. But again, Articuno's got you in its back pocket. Dragon flying, that's four times damage, mate. Sit down. Now, if you catch Articuno, that, this fight is easy, but, you know, there we go. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Here we go, the big reveal. I still can't believe my dragon's lost to you, Phantom. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Oh, you would have been, but you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Spike. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Oh shit then, fuck. I bought all this shit and I didn't end up needing it in the end, but whatever. I thought it was going to be harder than it um, was, or at least has been so far. I say that, I'm about to get slapped up by Spike now. Now, he does end it with an Arcanine. Arcanine's always the Sith Pokemon, if my memory serves. It's just extreme speeds, and it's just so annoying. He's getting the original slot. There we go. Let's get it. So that little grinding I did, I didn't actually really have to do, but never mind. And here we go. Hey, I was looking forward to seeing you, Phantom. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Phantom, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Bish, bash, bash. Another level up. Let's go. I look as um. So no, I'm gonna use Charizard again. I'm trying to think of all different Jolteon's needed for Blastoise. Or can I need any of the two that can use Earthquake? Fuck off! I hate you. Ugh. Right, just flamethrower it to death until it bleeding fucking gets burned. There we go, have that, you prick. Just need a crit. Fuck you. If you side being pissed off. Ride on, right, here we go. The uh, uh, Colonel comes in. And uh, yours is uh, the uh, Ice Beam. Then would use Blizzard, but I don't want to rely on the accuracy of moves like that. Good, it one shot it anyway, so Blizzard isn't needed. Dun, dun, dun. Level 52, go on Articuno. Wow, you're leaving Blastoise till the end, are you? I see. Arcanine usually comes out last, but it, well, that's fire red, but... Oh, wow. I was expected to use extreme speed, but you use takedown instead. Fuck me. Stop. Holy fuck. Do, do. 
Yeah, fuck you. Can a Pidgeot quick attack get rid of this bastard? Fuck! Why would you waste your time doing that? So on so where's the extreme speed at, anyway? Executor, Pfft. easy. Get that garbage out of here. Ouch. 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 Blast. And Jolteon, I mean, Jolteon has been a quite a big driving factor for a lot of the late game fights. Um, Jolteon's just awesome. Um, I'm going to Thunder. Going out in style, not Thunder Bolt. Thunder. Okay, now we'll do Thunder Bolt next. Ow. That's not too bad. And that is Pokemon Red done. I was expecting it to be much harder. Looks like I didn't have to go up a few levels with each Pokies. I mean, it, I don't think it would have made too much of a difference. Anyway, another level up for Jolteon. Tin Missile, piss off, please. Honestly, no. Yes. Here we go. No, that can't be. You beat my best. After all that work to become league champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it. You're the new league champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Phantom. So, you won. Congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League Champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander. Phantom, you have come of age. Spike, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Spike, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Phantom, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvellous. Phantom, come with me. Hmm. <clears throat> Congratulations, Phantom. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honoured for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Phantom, you have endeavoured hard to become a new Pokemon League champion. Congratulations, Phantom. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Yes now, shit then. Let's go. Let's go. Beast, Nido King, throughout the whole game, used w alongside with Geodude, that became of course Graveler. Because Graveler and Nido King were the ones that were beside... Um, uh, Charizard the longest. I mean, well, uh, Pidgeot was, but Pidgeot kind of took a bit to get into. Of course, Jolteon got when I went to Celadon, so about halfway through, Bish Bash Bosh. And Articuno came in just to get the job done towards the end. You know how it is. So there we go. I've seen 134 of 150. And I've caught 70. Very nice. Very good. Go fish for some marine Pokemon. How about piss off? So yeah, that marks the end of Pokemon Red. I hope you have enjoyed the playthrough, I guess I could say so far. I will be doing one more episode tomorrow where I will be catching Mewtwo in the uh, Viridian Cave. No, Cerulean Cave, sorry. Um, 
because that guy that was blocking the cave will no longer be blocking it. Every Pokemon there is like level 60. They are absolute fucking beasts. Um, but you get like Kinglers, Krabbies, stuff like that in there. So I'll be trying to catch those um, bef uh, while I make my way to um, Mewtwo. And of course, Mew there's a reason why Mewtwo is kept until post-game. It's because it's a fucking beast. Like, if I did Elite Four, I could probably sweep alone with Mewtwo. Mewtwo's that good. Um, but yeah, that could be tomorrow to wrap things up. Once I, once I catch Mewtwo as well, whatever Pokemon I've got, if any require, like, Moonstones, Waterstones, Firestones, Leafstones, or Thunderstones to evolve, I'll evolve them to see how many of the 150 I actually have by the end of it. Um, so, yeah. So here we go. Bish bash bosh. So we go back here. Phantom, you should take a quick rest here, please. Do 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 Good to see you. How's your Pokedex coming here? Let me take a look. So we have, there we go. Very good go for marine Pokemon, yep. Do 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 I could technically go and catch Mewtwo now, but I'll split it into two, might as well. Is there really nothing else around here? Came to get my mushroom Pokemon. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Paras. Fish. I'm gonna guess Parasect. Just another. Just another Paras. I we'll see. And then Parasect. Sit down. Best thing you could do, mate. Oh, my cute mushroom Pokemon, they're all gone, aren't they? What a fucking shame. Okay, there we go. We are outside Cerulean Cave. When we get in, is Flash required? No. So I'm gonna wait here. So, oh, thank you for watching this episode of my playthrough of Pokemon Red. And in the next episode, I'll be wrapping the game up by going through Cerulean Cave in order to catch the best Pokemon ever, the most powerful Pokemon ever. At least not counting all the bullshit bloody um, forms, like the Gigantamax forms, the X forms, you know, the Mega Evolutions, all that bollocks. Don't, no, I don't care about that. That's the Pokemon that I haven't touched, because, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, because you need to. Two. I've done that. Whatever I've, caught, whatever I've already got. Um, I'm going to be evolving them through like stones and whatnot to see how many of the 150 I actually have acquired in my Pokédex. Um, it's already seven, 70 sorry, so I don't think I can get close to 100 but I could probably get quite a good way through. But as I said, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.